Hey everyone! In today's video we want to have a look at small pocket drum devices. A lot of you probably know Teenage Engineering's Pocket Operator series, which are great I think. However, I like to build stuff myself, so I was looking through the web for inspiration where I stumbled across the bleep drum. Sadly, they seem to be sold out and not produced anymore. Also, I had some tiny ideas where one could slightly improve the hardware for my own use case. These ideas would be adding a proper panel, reducing the number of PCBs needed for the build, removing the big MIDI jack and replacing it with a 3.5mm one, adding a 3.5mm jack for an analog clock out for Eurac compatibility, and using an Arduino Nano instead of the Atmega chip. This significantly reduces the number of needed components and actually makes the whole thing USB-C powered through the Arduino Nano. So here's the design I came up with. I call it the UTF-9 Samplified. Huge thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this and the latest projects of mine. If you also want to order this drum machine, simply upload the Gerber files to PCBWay's website and they'll produce the PCBs and ship them over to you for a good price. Building this little drum machine is fairly simple as it's only a few through hole components that need to be assembled. I specifically chose buttons that should be very easy to get for cheap at places like AliExpress and Tata, so there definitely shouldn't be any sourcing issues for the project. Of course, my first iteration of the design was not completely perfect, so I had to do a few tiny fixes on the first prototype. They work great though, and I've already updated the PCB and schematic files on GitHub, so you don't have to solder in this transistor in a crooked orientation. When it's all done, the thing should look like this. Now let's have two little jams to show off what this thing actually can do. Besides the standalone use case, one can also use MIDI to play it as I'll demonstrate in the next jam. Hope you enjoyed this little project. If you want to check out all files on GitHub, 
I'll put the link in the description. Maybe play around in the code and make this thing your own. Until then, happy patching.